Okay, so today I am unboxing a gift that came from the Pirastra office in New York City. And I'm really excited about this because this is the new um, shoulder rest from Pirastra. And if anybody's ever used the Kofka rest, well, this is the new version of that, the Luna. So I'm curious to see if that's going to look like the Kofka rest, because I remember when I got that box, it looked like an Apple product. It looked beautiful. And I love that shoulder rest. So, coming out of the box, well, here it is. And it didn't disappoint. It looks really cool. It's that product floating on that white background. And it's just terrific. It's beautiful. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, looks like there's a pamphlet. Oh, and I have, as this was a, an evaluation gift, full disclosure, this is a free gift from them, so, but I'll be telling what I think. Um, and then I have this questionnaire to fill out. I'm excited. So, let's open this baby up. And a knife again. Cool. <laughs> How it comes, it looks beautiful. It slides out there. It's like sitting there. It's just gorgeous. Let's see. Yeah, kind of reminds me of the package that the um, the Apple cables come in. So here's the rest, and I'm particularly excited about this feature here, the collapsible feet and flexibility of it. I wonder if it's going to sound like the Corsica rest, if it's going to sound bad or worse. I don't know if this is adjustable like the wooden one. I have to read the manual about that. We'll get to it. And inside the box, you get manual and pads. Um, Corfka Rest also came with an Allen key. Oh, oh no, this is different, different legs. How oh, interesting. And the pouch, which is a lot smaller than the other one, it says Luna in there. Very, very nice looking. So interesting, so there are no screws in this. Okay, well that's kind of cool. So on my violin here, it's a Michael Backer 20... 14, and as you can see, I have the original one, and here's the other one, and we're going to see how it fits, how it sounds. Um, we're also going to compare it sound-wise with this baby here, the plastic um, Mac one. But let me just get this to be fitting. You know, I don't know if anybody uses it, and if you use these, um, I particularly like this shoulder rest because, well, I think that it makes my violin sound great, but the feet don't slide at all, which is wonderful. Um, I've had shoulder rest falling in concerts, uh, you know, it's never fun. So let's get a feel for this. Oh, it's actually kind of cool. Um, interesting. I might actually. Nah, too soon to tell. Um, but it fits great right out of the box. I remember with this one here, I had to really mess with it for a while, get the shape right, and change the screws configuration for it to line up. And it was an experiment. This here, well, this is very cool. Right out of the box. Neat. Um, before I play something for us to see if and how that changes the sound of the violin, I, um, and I get my trusty uh, espresso uh, scale here. It's an uh, Akaya Lunar, and I want to weigh them because, you know, anything makes a big difference. So let's start with the original Gorfka Rest, and that comes in at... 31.8 grams. 31.8 grams. 
the uh, Maquan plastic comes in at 53 grams. So 31 change, 53, it's a lot heavier. Oh, this is gonna be a lot lighter. Let's see. 32.6. Well, that's very exciting. So this is lighter than this one. That's remarkable. So fun. All right. So the next thing I want to do is to just play something real quick on all these three and see, you know, we're gonna, this is my office, a small room, and I don't know if it's gonna make a big difference in sound. Ideally, it would be in a very large room, but let's see. And then you can comment below and tell me if it makes a difference or not. So, um... because under the ear the violin feels open but it I have to work harder to make the strings ring if that it all makes sense um, and this is the same thing on the uh, original uh, rest so <laughs> easier to violin just I don't have to work so hard and under the ear is much more resonant now this baby here let's see how that goes this is very cool I really like how it fits all right sound more resonant more complex more layered sound than with any of those two um, oh and if you're at all curious uh, these are pirastro uh, perpetual uh, on the violin and they're a few months old they're about ready to be replaced but um, that was really cool um, curious now to watch the video myself and listen to the difference so tell me what you think comment below and, um, you know, in about a couple of weeks, I'll do another follow-up just to see how it's going to go. I'm mostly going to practice with the new one with the Luna and see how that works. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks again for our pre friends for this lovely gift. Talk to you later.